Welcome to Kibale National Park, one of the world's premier places to see chimpanzees in the wild. We made it to the airport. We're getting our stuff out of the car. Woo! Africa. Three years ago, I reached out to Gorilla Trek Africa to plan an epic adventure in Uganda, and we were finally on our way. We flew 13 hours to Qatar. I spilled wine on myself two hours in. Spent eight hours in the Doha International Airport, then flew six hours to Uganda. We are about to shower, take the most epic nap ever, and then maybe go out and go for a little walk along the lake. About that walk, it didn't happen. Instead, we dragged ourselves out of bed to get dinner, then went right back to sleep. We spent the next couple of days napping and eating our way through the jet lag at the beautiful Protea Hotel in Tebe. On the third day, our driver David picked us up and we drove six hours to Kabale National Park. I don't think we were quite mentally prepared for the drive-in. Um, yeah. Courtney had some had some great moments just in the vehicle <laughs> with her face. And you just go pew, 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 in and out, in and out, in and out. Are you gonna hit the semi truck? Oh, I don't know. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, we're gonna be right behind the truck. It's like a very delicate, violent dance <gasps> that they're doing. Thankfully, David's driving skills haven't been softened by American suburbia. We were the only people staying at Papaya Lake Lodge that night. It's an absolutely beautiful property with a peaceful rainforest surrounding, a breathtaking view over the lake, and huge rooms with big, comfortable beds. The wonderful staff served us a four course meal and everything was delicious, especially the pumpkin soup. It was phenomenal. We tried our best, but we couldn't finish everything. It was so much food, but it was all so good. With very full bellies and sleepy eyes, we went to bed, excited for what the morning would bring. I don't know if you can see me right now. There we go. <laughs> we are gonna be going chimpanzee tracking in about three hours. Okay, so we're not the biggest morning people. Before we were fully awake, we were off to our chimpanzee adventure. There were baboons everywhere on the drive-in. <laughs> Hello, good morning. <laughs> How are you? The baboons were so cute, and they used that cuteness to try to get into our vehicle and steal food. When we arrived, we had a short briefing, and then we began our adventure. All right, we are starting the trek to find the chimpanzees in Kibale Forest. <laughs> And you may be wondering why there are these giant duffel-sized bags under our eyes. It's because we woke up this morning about 5 o'clock. That's usually more like our bedtime. Yeah, I actually tried to do this video when we woke up and it did not turn out very well. We are here now, and we are off into the forest. Here we go. We were only 10 minutes in when we saw our first pair of chimps high up in the trees.
After about 30 minutes, one of the chimpanzees finally came down to the ground and ended up a lot closer than we expected. The best experiences have moments that just make your jaw drop. And this was that moment for us. Okay, I need to brag on my wife for a minute. At one point, another male chimp came down from the trees and started running through the forest. Our guide chased after him to see where he was going and Courtney stayed right on his tail. She went to a totally different level. One day, she's spending two hours getting leopard print nails. Less than a week later, she's sprinting through the bush to track down a chimpanzee. Remarkable. Unfortunately, she was too far ahead to get on video, so instead you get to watch me move at a much more reasonable pace. We never caught the chimp, but the chase led us to another small group, including a cute little baby. We said goodbye to the baby, then began our hike out of the forest. On our way out, we came across the alpha of the family, just taking a nap on the ground. According to our guide, he's comfortable sleeping there even when humans are nearby because at any moment he can call a group of chimps to come scare us off, something we didn't really want to experience. Almost four hours after our adventure began, we left the forest and our chimpanzee experience was over. Could not recommend this enough. Uh, would do it again. Super cool. Uh, Should have took a picture of a before and after. Got, a, got some dirt on me, but a battle wound even. So we'll check that out later. But super great. Couldn't recommend it enough. So fun. Bye! We hopped in the car and began the four hour drive to Queen Elizabeth National Park. On the way there, we ate our delicious packed lunch. It was seriously so good. We made a quick stop at the equator and even saw a few elephants from the side of the road. Before going to our lodge, we had one final adventure planned, cruising the Kazinga Channel. This type of activity is the exact reason I wanted to book through Gorilla Trek Africa. I basically emailed them saying, hey, we want to see primates in the wild and let them take care of the rest. So part of that was these little extra activities that I would have never planned on my own, but ended up being some of our absolute favorite moments from the trip.
last, our day was over, and it was time to relax at Katara Game Lodge, one of the most breathtaking places we've ever stayed. <laughs> Pineapple juice. They have the best juice. It's good. We're gonna have a good night tonight. Get a shower get some sleep, and then wake up for another early one tomorrow. We'll go for a game drive in the Ishasha sector to see some tree climbing lions, hopefully, and then go all the way down to Bwindi Impenetrable Forest, which our guide David lovingly called the Free African Massage Road. It's gonna be bumpy tomorrow. It's gonna be a long driving day, but then the next day we are seeing some gorillas. That's all.